From farm bill funding to market volatility, crop insurance continues to be a big focus for farmers as we approach the end of the year. And Brooks York with AgroSampo joins us now with some industry guidance. Good to have you with us, Brooks. With winter approaching, it would seem that this is the off season for farms and crop insurance. But what kind of crop insurance decisions come around this time of year? You know, Tammy, we're finishing up on the 2023 crop right now. We've got a lot of uh, adjusters in the field measuring bins to see how that revenue calculation pans out uh, from last year. With that big price drop, uh, we had a lot of revenue claims in some areas that didn't necessarily have big yield losses. But when you factor in that price drop, it made it possible for claims. Uh, If you're in some parts of the country, uh, you're kind of in the the heat of crop insurance season. It may seem odd uh, for December to be that, that way, but pasture, rangeland, and forages, uh, our policy we refer to as PRF, uh, there's a lot of talk there. Um, you know, over half of our arable acres here in the U.S. are, are comprised of those three practices. So it's an area-based pro- uh, program that um, a lot of agents are having discussion with, uh, with farmers right now. And along those lines, uh, livestock risk protection, uh, we've talked about that in our previous interviews. A lot of talk there, uh, whether it's feeder cattle or swine. There's some great protection policies out there for farmers across the country. So it's it's busy in December, uh, despite it not being really farm season, as you would think. Right, definitely a busy time. Now, before farmers even get the 2023 crop out of the bins, we're already focusing on next year's crop. Have, you have mentioned in the past that the huge impact that the projected price has on farmers' budgets and rural economies. So how soon will crop insurance have an impact on those two items? Well, it, it seems crazy that we're already focusing on 2024, but in some places in the country, that projected pricing period will start in less than 45 days. Uh, for most of the country, it's during the month of February. And I've talked about it in the past, that the base price that's set there in our projected window that calculates into that, that revenue calculation is, is critical, not just for farmers, but for rural America as a whole. You know, a lot of that farmer's budget goes into these small businesses in small communities. Uh, sometimes that's the base. Um, Agriculture is the base economic driver in a lot of counties in, in the United States. So the projected price period... While a lot of people don't think of February being that key month, it's really, really important to us. Absolutely important. That's Agri Sampo Producer Services Director Brooks York. Appreciate your time and that update today.